Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Kevin Rodan. So today I figured we'll talk about, of course, yet another obscured low budget feature. And yes, it's something from the horror genre, because as far as I'm concerned, Halloween is a year round thing, because fucking why not, whatever. This one's titled The Vampire. Of course, I'm going to talk about something vampire related. These are my favorite creatures anyway, when you think about it. So, that's something. So I'll just use this as an excuse to talk about vampires, since I've been talking about these kind of creatures in, in a while, in a good hot minute. So, I thought, eh, hell, I guess I'll bring this movie up. I've been meaning to anyway, so here we are. Of course, like always, let's talk about the plot, shall we? So... Let's get into it. Oh, yeah. In San Francisco, we get to see this individual, this doctor, whom has pretty much begun experimenting with with vampire bat blood just before his death. And let's just say that things get rather crazy, I guess you can say. Yeah, there was this individual, I guess his colleague, I guess, so to speak, finds a bottle of pills among the doctor's efforts and just takes them home and the daughter pretty much accidentally substitutes the vampire's blood pills for the for her father's migraine tablets as a result the kindly doctor starts having these blackouts so to speak from the pills so to speak so yeah things get rather crazy so I'm guessing the, that this film is trying to have some kind of explanation as to how and why somebody would become a vampire other than the traditional way that, oh, just get bit and there you go. So, okay, I guess it's trying to do its own thing in some ways. And, of course, this still does make the individual, the person, this guy here, like he's insane, he still comes off like a crazy person. Of course, that's going to be still there. And henceforth, mayhem come, comes forth. Of course, of course it would. It is a horror story after all. So of course it's going to be rather strange. Of course it's going to be weird. Obviously, it happens in these movies. But of course I would expect, it. I would expect that to happen. Because that's, that's, it should. Because it's not going to be like one of these happy-go-lucky type movies anyway, like, at all. Not that I expect it wouldn't anyway, because it should be weird. It should be bizarre. But anyway, that's a thing, though. You have to make sure that the lives of, of the other characters will be threatened somehow, I guess. There has to be some kind of supernatural thing anyway. And, and uh, this... I know this movie is trying to explain how this individual, well, let's just say somebody makes a mistake. Let's put it that way. Somebody makes a mistake, and due to this mistake, some individual's life, this, this guy here, his life is forever changed because it was, there was this thing that happened, of course. I mean, what, well, jeez. Got, got to stop the plot somehow. Got to get the things rolling some kind of method of suppose because that's how you do it that's how you're supposed to do that because as i mentioned before multiple times is that if there's no drama then there's no story then if there's no story then there's no reason for me to give a shit so this one definitely attempts to have some some kind of crazy plot i guess you would say i mean of course what matters is how you execute it as well you can have a good story but bad execution but thankfully this one is pretty solid. I do I do recommend it. But those who want to see something old school, who, anyone who wants to see something from long ago, so for anyone that wants to see, just the, in retrospect, I guess. Of course, I prefer the low budget stuff, obviously. Just, I don't know, just the new stuff nowadays. The new, the newest age horror films, the more modern stuff. The more modern day horror films, they just don't do anything for me, like at all, unfortunately. Because I think they're boring. I find a lot of the more recent stuff boring in a lot of ways. 
Uh, just whatever, guys. That's kind of why I wouldn't go to the more old school stuff. That's why I would, off, I would often talk about the more low budget stuff from from way way long ago. A blast from the past, of course. That, that's what I would usually want anyway to come in, from the thing about it. Just I found all these movies and trying to be more creative in some ways. It was a stupid thing that is still true. I don't know. I just I just didn't seem to care for it really. I don't know, when it comes to the more modern state, day stuff, I mean, I just prefer to watch some of these old school stuff, of course. And yes, like I was saying, I would definitely recommend it. For those, if you, especially if you're somebody that likes vampires, or you just like the horror genre in general, then yeah, sure. I'd say be my guest. Give this a shot. If you have it already. Because I do like the idea. And there's plenty of wild moments that does happen throughout the entire story, as it should, because it's not a cozy movie. It's not meant to be cozy or anything. Of course, it will be something weird. Obviously, that's expected. Of course, that's going to happen. Mm hmm. Oh, definitely. But anyway, whatever. Things that. It's something I've been meaning to talk about because. Because I might do this. Is my I'm a damn to do list. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't tell you it's a notebook, but I'm calling it a to do list anyway because I lost the talk about. I do mean a lot. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. But yeah. I was gonna eventually come across this film and just review it anyway. Because I like spooky movies. I like when like, seeing weird shit happen. So yeah, it's like it's, it's kind of like morbid curiosity in some ways. Where okay, you think you just want to live a normal life. You want these characters to live a normal life, but no, can't have that because of course there's going to be some kind of tragedy. Of course there's going to be something strange going on. I guess it's morbid in some ways. That's why I keep coming back. The hard genre, at least part of it anyway. But anyhow, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 7.0 out of 10. It's a 7.0 out of 10 for me. So, of course, as always, thank you for watching. And take care. Until next time. See ya. Oh, yeah. Later.